So basically, when we started three years ago, what we wanted was to sort of repoliticize the question of foreign policy in Europe and also draw the attentions of Europeans on the fact that there actually is a European foreign policy. Sometimes it's not very united, sometimes it's badly coordinated, but it exists. The scorecard tracks Europe's effectiveness as a foreign policy actor. Looking at Europe's role in the world, we explore the contribution that um, the 27 member states and the EU institutions make to, the, to Europe's collective impact across a range of different components. The biggest challenge in the first year was the methodology, uh, thinking through how do you assess European foreign policy. You know, have we done good or bad as Europeans in defending our interests, our ideas and ideals in the world? There are the member states to think about, there are the EU institutions, um, there's all kinds of questions about against what standard do you measure performance. We focus on the um, key strategic regions for Europe, so looking at Europe and China, Europe and Russia and the US, Europe in its neighbourhood, which we call wider Europe, Europe and the Middle East and North Africa, and then in the final chapter we look at Europe as a multilateral actor and, on, and its effectiveness on crisis management. Were Europeans united? Did they put resources behind their objectives? Were the objectives the right ones? We grade looking at three different areas. Firstly, unity. To what extent did member states pull together around a certain policy? Secondly, resources. How much political and financial capital did they contribute on each issue? And thirdly, what was the outcome? How much of an effect did Europe have in it, through its policy on the ground? Before the scorecard existed, you had uh, debates in each individual member state about their own national foreign policy. Uh, then you had, uh, on the other hand, uh, a debate about European foreign policy, but it tended to be a very institutional debate about competencies and about the institutions themselves. Uh, what we wanted to do is try to bring the, the, the things together and to look at European foreign policy, but very much in terms of what are the objectives of European foreign policy and how successful is Europe uh, in achieving those objectives. The scorecard is about the collective effort, but over the last two years we have looked at the role of individual member states across 30 of the key components. We have categorised um, the member states as leaders, supporters and slackers on these different comp components to try to draw attention to the fact that Europe is at its most effective when member states play a complementary role. So we'd like a reader to have some sense of how well Europe did in 2012 compared to 2011 and 2010. Um, obviously against the background of the Euro crisis, and also to have some sense of where uh, their particular member state fitted into that overall performance.